Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is Danielle Chantel here and today I am doing a bit of a life update video. What's been going on with me? Um, there's been like a lot of apps on my channel with like vlogs and stuff. First I was doing like daily vlogs, now I'm starting to do weekly vlogs and I'll be going back and forth between the two. I just like doing weekly vlogs when I have a lot going on during my week or weekend it just kind of makes sense to kind of throw it into one kind of video um but long story short i'm here life is lifing <laughs> we are going through the motions of things but regardless of that i'm super grateful for the journey i'm super grateful for all of you and the support and uh the consistent viewers that check in on me dm me comment ask if i'm okay like i really appreciate you guys um so let's dive into this update a little bit we're gonna start with um my apartment what is like glaring right now oh it's my necklace oh, that's pissing me off so we're gonna hide the necklace starting with the apartment um no major apartment updates yet guys but there will be soon. I know like on the vlogs, I've gone back and forth about whether I want to stay here, do I want to move, all of that stuff. And I feel like I was just being kind of like picky and too precise instead of grateful for where I'm at right now. So um, I'm going to start actually furnishing in here, hopefully November, December, going into the new year, just because I kind of want to decorate for the holidays i was going to decorate for the fall but i feel like i kind of missed out a bit by not putting myself together more with updating my furniture and things like that so there's always next year god's willing other than that um it's october there's two months left in the year meaning i've been living on my own for 10 months now which is crazy i feel like the other day i was just counting six months um and i'm like I'm shook like I'm shook but also grateful I remember this time last year I was like looking into apartments and kind of scouting out what places I wanted to live in and around this time I think this week would have been like this week last year same time um, frame I got hired at the job that I no longer have and I was just like okay a little bit more money in my pocket more consistency let's start looking for a place and mind you, I was like, the pay didn't match. Okay, we're just gonna be real, the pay didn't match. But I'm like, you know what? Stepping out on faith, um, we're gonna get it done. God provided, okay? When I tell you God chose the most expensive apartment out of the five apartments that I looked at for me, it just shows like what happens when you truly trust in God. Because here I am, 10 months later, in my own place, still able to pay rent, take care of myself, have fun, hang out with my friends, you know what I'm saying, and just have all of these things while having such a huge financial burden, it's like, it's a blessing, and I know that God's only going to continue to bless me more as I go through life and, you know, elevate, you know, so I'm just super grateful for that, like, every day I wake up or I come home from work and I'm like, wow, I literally have my own place, like, if you've um, been subscribed to my channel for a while or subscribed to my old channel that I had with Siobhan, you know that we've lived on our own before, so this is nothing new, but there's a difference between living with your friend and living on your own, because now all the financial responsibility is on you. So I'm just so grateful. Um, I guess now we can dive into a little bit of career. So before the pandemic, I was teaching during the pandemic, started my own business, which is still doing really great. Had a lot of opportunities come from that. But I was also working my like government job, uh, but it wasn't like a full time or part time. It was kind of just like, you can choose how many hours you work. I'm just gonna be honest. Um, so there just got to a point where I was kind of, I was just tired. I felt like I was in the same position for so long, and my talents were being looked over. And I still work there. No heat, to, no shade. I love working there. Um, I've been there for eight years, so y'all know I'm not leaving anytime soon. It's, it's a great job. But I just felt like there was so much that I've learned during the pandemic with like creating my own business and learning the ins and outs of all of these things. I just 
I wanted to go somewhere else. I don't know how the lighting is um, right now because the sun is setting as I'm filming this video, but we're going to go with it. And I applied for a job, was working in insurance, started in October, lasted nine months. <laughs> um, by month nine, I was like, yeah, I got to get out of here. Like, I just didn't enjoy it anymore. It wasn't enjoyable for me. I didn't like it. I wanted to get out. So I applied for tech jobs. Mind you, I've prayed over this like from last year before the new year, I said like, God, please place me in a position, whether it is with my channel or my social media platforms to work in social media, to work in tech, because I've grown to love doing this from creating to building to educating. Like I've, I've grown to really love this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I just started applying to all tech companies, you know what I'm saying? The Meta, Pinterest, all of that stuff, and applied for TikTok, totally forgot about my job application, got like an email almost a month later saying, hey, we're interested in setting up an interview with you, da 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 da, and I was like, okay! I was so excited because I'm like, it was just around the time I was just feeling so down, I felt like I lost direction in life a bit and i just didn't know where to go like even when it came to my business um i stopped promoting and that's on me i just felt a little bit lost and it happens you know sometimes god just redirects you to where you're supposed to be i got that job in august i started interviewing in i think end of june is when i started interviewing landed the job started in august it's now october and I'm just so blessed and so grateful mm -hmm. to wake up in the morning and enjoy what I do. Like, so I'm just so grateful for where I'm at and I know I'm only going to continue to grow into the woman that God wants me to be and the woman that I want to be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not perfect. Um, I make mistakes. Um, there's a lot of things that I wish I could have done differently or went about differently but I know if I did I wouldn't be on this path that I am right now I know my path my story would be completely different and I, did, I don't know if it would have been better or worse but I know that God doesn't make mistakes and I am where I'm supposed to be and saying all this I don't want you guys to compare your journey to mine or anybody else's just know that your time is coming whether it's now or later you are where you are supposed to be and i'm just going to continue to work hard and to feed my mind with positive things and continue to just show up for myself every day and just pray to god for the strength that i need and the courage that i need to continue on this journey called life and to just be the successful young woman that i know I am and you know that I want to be um, but yeah that's a bit of like the career wise stuff um, next I think I'll go into my health and wellness and my fitness which I speaking of that I need to start uploading on the dream on fitness YouTube channel now that I have so much fit the fitness pre-recorded fitness content that I could push out there so I'm gonna get started on that but um, Gym on Fitness is doing really well. I'm still building my social media pages and platforms and engagement and all of that stuff. Um, a lot of opportunities are still coming my way and still working with businesses and working on ways to grow my platform um, when it comes to the health and wellness industry. Um, I no longer work for Total Life Changes. I do still have my link up for everybody to purchase their products, but it's not for any selfish reasons. I'm not gaining commission or anything like that. It's just, it's there. So if y'all want to shop and y'all love the products, link is there. Y'all can buy your, your ISO tea, your Nutriverse, all of that stuff. I feel like the lighting is getting worse and worse, um, but we're going to rock with it. Um, hold on, let me readjust, guys. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of light, but I think this is a lot better. Um, but I was saying there, there just started to be like a negative cloud and bubble around like diet culture and drink tea to be skinny and rub cream on your butt for it to be bigger and I'm just like no like people have to understand that living a healthy lifestyle and losing weight and all of that stuff it takes time just like losing weight and building muscle it may take you a year it may, you, it may take you two years but it's a part of the process and you have to learn to love that part of it 
I just didn't want to continue to push losing weight fast or gaining weight fast because I can even say that it, it shifted a bit of my journey um, and that's why I kind of had to step back and really think if this is what I wanted to do moving forward and it wasn't so now I'm here um, I don't really have a goal you guys obviously can tell I've gained some weight but it's not like I was eating and got fat no like I just decided to I shouldn't even use the word fat I don't like that word um, it's not like I was eating and kind of like gained weight um, in a bad way I'm actually on my gaining journey with building muscle and um, yeah all of that like I didn't hate like I hated my body um, but I didn't hate being thicker I'm not saying I would go to that but I, I know that now you know being that way I, I want to be more muscular I want my legs to be solid I want my arms to be solid like I want muscle definition so that's what I'm working towards it took me about a year and a half for my body to be receptive to the gain like the gains um, I just kept burning through everything burning through everything and now that I found a routine that works I love it here I love it here so the goal for me right now to be very honest when it comes to fitness and health is to be happy okay I want to be happy with my body mentally and physically and I want to continue to push myself and challenge myself to lift heavier like there's just this feeling that I get from lifting weights if I have a bad day or you know I just there's just going to the gym and releasing all of that energy and just doing some deadlifts and some squats it just hits different so that's the journey that I'm on right now I just want to be happy I don't want to be in an environment where I have to feel like I have to compare my goals and my body to anybody else's like my journey is my journey it's not for you it's not for Fred down the street is not for Sheila around the corner it's for you you know what I'm saying your story is your story and you choose the way you write it you know what I'm saying so for me I just want to continue to focus on building healthier habits which I have been and I've seen how my skin has changed like even the breakouts and stuff I have on my chin I have three right now they're very small but I know that's because I, I had what did I have candy like two days ago and I know my body doesn't, now I know my body doesn't like MSG, anything with MSG, it doesn't like fast foods, it doesn't like snacks. Like my body does really good with gluten free stuff and drinking a lot of water and I know this. So me knowing this means I shouldn't be going against that and that's where you start to make those changes. So I've been juicing, a, well working with A plus smoothies, check them out on Instagram. I'll put the link in my bio as well, I've been doing juice cleanses. Every month with his business, I've been, um, I get juices from him every two weeks. So this week, since last week, I've been having beet juice once a day, which is really good. I have my booster shots in the morning, in the evening, and after the gym. Like, I've just been making healthier adjustments, and I'm just so happy, guys. Like, I'm just so happy with where I am right now in life, and I'm just so grateful. Um, I'm just so grateful to be here. And the more I say these things out to the camera, the more it just makes me like want to show more moments of gratitude in my prayer life. Like, you know, we pray and we ask God for things and God is not afraid to give us things. You know what I'm saying? Like he wants us to dream big. He wants us to have the best of the best. And he knows this. But I feel like we miss out on the prayer aspect and showing gratitude. Um, so just practice to have those moments of prayer where you just say thank you for waking me up this morning Thank you for my family. Thank you for opportunities. Thank you for my home. Thank you for the clothes on my back like Just like how you thank someone for opening the door for you and you're super grateful for that Because it saved you that one little step you have to thank God for those things as well Like I truly believe that I believe in a higher power. I believe in God you know what I'm saying and I do believe that a lot of the opportunities and where I am in life is because of him I may be struggling sometimes in this life but it's nowhere near to what I was experiencing five to eight years ago at my worst and even working through therapy and um, working on different coping mechanisms when it comes to my depression and my anxiety like these are real things that are wrong with me guys I'm not just saying I feel depressed like 
is a diagnosed thing for me and i know these mental health illnesses they're demons we're battling with demons every single day but acknowledging that you have you know you feel these things and seeking help is also so important so me even putting my pride aside and going back to therapy this month has been a year that i've been in therapy i'm so happy it's the best thing that i could have done for myself um just learning to have more grace when it comes to people and grace with myself and just being a lot more patient and understanding um, and wanting more. I remember crying to my therapist during the winter and saying, I hate my job. Like, I don't want to be here. I remember saying like, when I wake up in the morning, it's such a dreadful feeling. It's too heavy. I was so ready to quit and not know what I was going to do next. And she's just like, honestly, you have to work through those feelings and emotions. But as much as you hate your job, what are you actively doing to change that? And that's when I started to work on my diet again and find my love for working out and exercising again and then actively looking for jobs. And I'm now able to go back and have these conversations with her and she's like, yo, remember you were here like four months ago. You may be going through this right now, but you were, you were a lot worse than you are now, four months ago. So you just have to be grateful for the journey, be grateful for the changes that you made but also still make adjustments as you go. Not every day is gonna be perfect, you know what I'm saying? Not every day you're gonna wake up and wanna work. Some days you don't even wanna clock in, but think about where you were two months ago, three months ago, four months ago, and how much you've changed and how much you've grown. And just be grateful in those moments. So this is pretty much my life update. It got really deep, but this is how I've been feeling. And as I do these life updates, I'm able to go back and see like, where i was before and like how much things have changed and i'm just so excited to see where i where my journey leads to next even like career wise i i put myself out there i just got hired but today i was like hey like i want more like working with my team and saying can you push me a little bit more on this can you educate me a little more on this so that i know like six to eight months from now I'll be ready for another position or something. But I just know that you're not gonna get anywhere in life unless you work hard for it and you really show up for yourself. Like how bad do you really want it? So yeah, I love you guys. Things always get deep with Danny, but that's just what it is. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll definitely be doing these more often along with some other kinds of videos that I'm going to be working on, just getting out of my comfort zone, just because I'm, I really miss creating like content, but most of all, what I'm doing this time around is putting out what I want. Um, and hopefully you guys are receptive to it. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh,